It's no secret that here on Battle Damage, we've got it out for phones. And our quest to make sure phones never feel safe continues. Because thanks to your request, today we're gonna be battle testing four popular iPhone cases. Be warned, phones, no case will save you from our wrath. First up is the LifeProof case, which says it's built to exceed US military standards for dropping. Next we have the Lunatic Extreme with impact trusses and fancy Gorilla Glass shield. The Griffin Survivor plus Catalyst is waterproof and ruggedized where it counts, the edges and corners. Last but certainly not least is the OtterBox Defender, which uses a robust three layer protection and has a swiveling belt clip. Let's go! I'm gonna try to throw this as hard on the screen as I can, since that's what they're meant to be protecting. And roll! Action! <laughs> Front came off, yeah. phone's on its face. <laughs> it came out, it does not look good. The screen isn't turning on. I mean, it looks, it looks kind of bent. It does look bent, actually. It buzzes like it's on, but the screen is. I mean, that's not usable. Survivor did not survive. Alrighty then. Well, the case I'm sure will snap back together, but the phone, ooh, the phone ooh. is busted open. Just split right in the front. I'm hearing no sounds, no clicks, nothing. <laughs> so sad, we're killing so many iPhones. <laughs> Here we go, moment of truth. Phone's still on, still that's, working. That's already beaten its competitors. An incredibly hard to hit volume button works. Yeah. <laughs> so it definitely bulged a little bit right here, but totally usable. Worth the 75 bucks. Yeah, if you're gonna slam your phone to the ground. You smash it, it's like F you. It came at me, it made a move. Screen side up, it's still on. So right away, let's top the first two. The casing has come apart. Seems like a little bit flimsy, a little bit cheap. Phone is fine. It's in a very similar shape as Lunatic Extreme. Looks great. Otterbox moves on. These two are taking the safe. Our two survivors have made it past the spike test, but can they handle a 50 pound safe? Let's find out. I got an awesome feeling about this. Ready? Roll. Action. The phone is vaporized. <laughs> What's left of either the phone or the case? It is bent in half, hamburger style. Holy crap. So is that a pass or a fail? <laughs> I think that's a fail. I've never seen an iPhone folded in half. Wow. Here we go, and ready, roll. The phone is still on. <laughs> All right, I'm going in. That is insane. <laughs> I think it works. So the case's glass is broken, but maybe the phone's glass is still okay. So we got the special tool that it comes with. The fact the screen is still working leads me to believe that it's pretty much undamaged under there. It's definitely bent. Not so bad though. Sure. Is the screen scratched at all? I don't think so. Hard case kept it rigid, and then you can see there's all these little empty pockets. Those probably like compress, like a Twinkie. And that, that basically absorbs the concussion, and you can drop safe on your phone. We have a really clear winner in this test. Big time. Winner is the Lunatic Extreme. Well, turns out most of the time your phone's not even safe in the case. That's why I always carry my phone in one of these, a special iPhone case of my own design. I call it the case Casinator. Wow, that's pretty cool. Can you fit it in your pocket? Easily. <laughs> oh, geez, these must have shrunk in the dryer. Right. What do you use to protect your phone? Or do you let it go commando? 
Give us a shout out in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the Wired channel so you don't miss our super- Oh, it fit, it fit. Oh no, I just broke my pants. That looks painful. Medic! See you next week. <laughs>